First and foremost, Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer. Now, what does that mean? A network protocol analyzer takes the ones and zeros that travel across the wire and decipher what they seemingly random numbers mean. As an example, Wireshark can take data that crosses the wire for a simple HTTP transaction and tell you which parts of the packet show the source and destination IP address or the HTTP status code. Wireshark currently can decipher hundreds of protocols and more being added all the time. This will make a little more sense as we get into using Wireshark to analyze network traffic. The other beauty of Wireshark is that it runs on multiple operating systems. It currently has ports for Windows, Linux, Mac, and FreeBSD. It also has a graphical user interface, which is important for many people, as well as a command line version that can be used in scripting languages such as Bash. So in 1998, a computer science graduate at the University of Missouri at Kansas City named Gerald Combs released a program called Ethereal. It was the first of its kind network analysis tool. Mr. Combs released the application under the GNU GPL license, which means that the software is free to use for private and commercial applications. Now due to some trademark issues, Combs had to rebrand Ethereal as Wireshark in 2006. Wireshark is used by IT professionals for many different tasks, but the most common are for network troubleshooting, system administration, and security administration. Network engineers will often run Wireshark to determine if routing on a local area network is happening properly and efficiently, System administrators will use Wireshark to ensure that their servers are properly communicating with each other and to determine if the network is down. And finally, security administrators use it to identify malicious traffic, such as that from APT actors. The beauty of Wireshark for this application is that it can do live analysis as well as analysis in a forensics capacity by looking at packet captures that have been taken previously or by other applications or hardware. So this may or may not be your first time looking at the Wireshark interface. But as you can see, the Wireshark GUI is broken in, into three distinct sections. The first section, highlighted in red, shows the individual packets that were captured. By default, in this pane, you see packet number, time, source IP address, destination IP address, protocol, and a short blurb about what the payload of the packet actually is. Now these fields can be changed to fit your individual preferences. The blue pane shows the detail view of the highlighted packet. This is the protocol analyzer at work. As it dissects the packet into smaller pieces such as the data link or the network layer information. If you were to hit the plus sign next to any of those fields, it would expand to see additional information and we'll work heavily in the detail pane in future lectures. Now finally, the green pane is the ASCII and the hex view of the highlighted packet. When you highlight a particular field in the packet detail pane, the blue pane, um, that location is also highlighted in the hex and ASCII in this pane. Now for security professionals, this can assist you in creating signatures for particular network traffic in an intrusion detection system.